Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Team Jolt video. Today, we are going to be testing out the new GoPro Hero 13, which is right here in my hand. We're going to be seeing how it does with parkour POVs and parkour. We're going to test it out, test out different settings, modes, lenses, all the good stuff. So stay tuned. All right, before we get started with the POVs, we're going to test out the lenses. So here we got the macro lens. We're going to test this one out first, and then we'll check out the, the hyperview. That one we'll be using for the POVs. We'll probably test out ND filters in this video as well. So yeah, we'll check this one on, see what it looks like. Lining up the blue. Yo, it's so much closer. All right, so here's me vlogging with the macro lens on. It looks a lot closer and it looks really cool. And yeah, here's me coming up closer on. What do you reckon, one of these leaves? So we get a bit of background blur, which is nice. We get some extra close up POV shots. Yo, that's sick. And it looks fancy as as well. All right, we'll take off the macro lens and we're gonna put on the hyper view. So let's see how that looks. All right, here we go. Ultra wide. Yeah. I'm standing so, bro, that's crazy. I'm literally standing inches away from this ball. Oh, it's gonna be so exciting to film a POV with this bad boy. So stay tuned till the end of this video. Cool. We've been filming with the GoPro 9 for the last three years. All our videos are pretty much on that. Definitely been needing an upgrade. Not needing it, but wanting it. So praise the Lord we got this one because this is sick. I already love it. It's going to be so good for our parkour. Let's get into some training, some testing, and we'll see how it goes. Whatever Natty wants, Natty gets. <laughs> Alrighty, I've currently got one of the ND filters on, I believe 16. And yeah, I'm gonna electric scooter to the first spot, see if we can capture some motion blur. I also realized with the last clips with the hyperview and uh, the macro lens that I hadn't changed the settings yet, so it looks like not the color that I wanted. Like it shows too much detail in the skin. Like if you like zoom in on this, it looks terrible. So I changed it to just flat color. And um, yeah, we're gonna test those out, film some POV, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. So let's get into it. It's starting to rain. No. All right, hopefully that motion blur looked cool. I'm gonna switch out the lens to the hyperview now. All right, we got ultra wide. It's raining now though. Ugh. Looks like today is going to be a rainy POV. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I almost cocked it on the first shot. spot number two right here the rain takes away a lot of possibilities but we can still get something and it's still gonna be sick so stay tuned <laughs> oh. oh the wet cold hard ground on the hands <sighs> the rain although maybe it's a good thing stop myself from going too hard on the ankle it actually cut my hand like the impact from the ground <laughs> never had that before Alrighty, shot number three hands on concrete run up dive off onto the table webster off maybe i'll transition the webster oh bad steps <laughs> the slope. Good thing we're transitioning the Webster so we won't get that horrible landing. All right, let's find the next spot. Oh, that one 
know it's on the back of my shirt. Wait, see if you guys can see. So far, love this camera. Worth the upgrade, especially if you have a Hero 9. Also, at the start of the day, it was like sunny. I was like ready to go, pumped up for the POV. And uh, then I came out and it instantly started raining. And I was like, oh man, God, please, please let it clear up. But then actually, God showed me that. It doesn't have to be good weather. Don't have to like have the perfect conditions. It's such a good day, such a nice day to go out. I can train, I can film, share with you guys. I don't know, it just he just like changed my mindset around it and it, it's real good. So I'm real excited, ready to go and just keep training and just have fun, see what we can come up with. So don't let the rain stop you. Be creative, have fun and trust in God. Let's jump off this shipping container. <laughs> Now bear in mind, last time I jumped off a shipping container, I broke my ankle, so... Well, it wasn't a jump, it was a double side, but... Alright, let's go. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Praise the Lord. To the next spot. Let's go. That's gonna be cool, that's gonna be cool. That could be a good dive roller right there. Bollocks, I just did the dive roll and it didn't film. Ah, oh, again. <laughs> Hopefully that was better. I felt better than the first one that I didn't record, so. It was a good thing that it didn't, so let's go. Yeah, that was a good shot. I think that might be the best shot so far. I don't know, dive rolls look really good with this lens. Let's keep going, shall we? There's just a spot over there that I think I'm gonna check out, so let's go. Hey guys. All right, we're here at the next spot. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try that one more time. All right, now this isn't the next spot for the POV, but I did want to get it on camera for when it's dry, jump from here to there, obviously check the landing, check the surfaces and everything, but that would be sick. So definitely we'll come back to this at some point with the boys. All right, we'll see you at the next spot, GoPro. I had a really good idea. Let's do this. It's been a good day so far. Very nice. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. How does the wind sound, I wonder? Oh, mulch pile. Since the almost six months that I broke my ankle, I've done this to this spot. If any of you guys watched that video, they've done quite a lot. And there's some mulch piles, all those trees are gone. This might be a cool new spot, hopefully someday. Oh, that's a big step. That's gonna be quite some reach with the leg. Change of plan, this one's gonna be straight after the front flip off the shipping container, because this stuff looks the same as the ground there. So I'm gonna roll on this, kong up, reverse vault down, and then a twist. That felt sick. Oh yeah. Man, this day's turned into such a good day. We've had so much fun. I've had so much fun so far. This is so good. The sun's actually starting to come out. That's crazy as well. So I don't know. If you're having a bad day, figure out why you're actually feeling like that. And then a good quote is, this is more related to like sin, but like it can work with mindsets as well. If you remove the root, then you remove the fruit. So if there's something that's causing you to have a bad day, find what it is and change your mindset. If it's something little, like rain or whatever, ask God to help you to change your mindset and to focus on Him and focus on what you can get done and where He's leading you and what He's calling you to do. Obviously, there's more major things. We won't get into it, but like, just ask God to comfort you and help you in that time or whatever it may be. Just ask for His guidance and His comfort and He'll help you out. Like, He changed my mindset just like that and now I've had a great session, great day, and I'm continuing to have a great day. But if I kept focusing on that bad mindset, on that mindset that was like, oh, it's rainy, I could have got so much better clip. Just focus on what you can get, what you can do, and ask God to lead you and to help you through. So yeah, instead of focusing on what you could do, what you could have got done if this happened, focus on what you can do with your current circumstances and ask Jesus to lead you in that. And he will help you to use what he's given you at the time and make the most out of it. And yeah, let's get back into the video. Not gonna lie, it kind of smells like poo here. So I reckon there's like, oh wait, 
Never mind, the freezing works are right there. I was gonna say they might have used like poo as fertilizer, but anyway. I've confused myself with clips. I don't know what the next transition is because I skipped the shipping container one and then I did that and then I did that and then I think I can do it if I do hands down. But yeah, we'll see at the end. We'll only see when I'm editing. Here's some more jumps to come back to some point, these long jumps. So we'll come back to that when it's dry. So that'll be cool. We're gonna go boom, boom, boom. And then roll, maybe. <laughs> Scary man. Oh. All right, let's do this. Oh. Committed. I didn't transition. Maybe I'll land on this one and then slide. A little bit sketchy, but. Hopefully that was it. My hands. I think one problem with the ultra wide lens is that when I uh, when I do head turns, it doesn't really show too much head turning. Like I think when I go to edit this, it's not gonna transition as good as it could if it was slightly less wide. So that's one thing I've noticed so far. And you'll probably notice when you watch the full product at the end of this video. I mean, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I haven't edited it yet, but from what I can see so far, it does look like not too much movement in the head turn just because it's so wide. So yeah, I guess we'll see in the final product, but uh, yeah, no, that was a fun line. That was, a, that was actually a real sketchy one. Pretty happy with that. So let's go, next spot. The tree stumps are just over there and now I'm at this mulch pile. I'm thinking of running up here and doing like a dive roll down slide type thing into a, into a roll. We'll see how it goes. Might look cool, might not, but either way, it's all a test. It's all an experiment to test out this new GoPro. So yeah, let's do it anyway. You know what? That was actually really fun. I think it looked pretty cool. I've realized you can actually get good head movement transitions. You just gotta like really exaggerate and like whip around. Like you really gotta pull your head back as far as you can and then just like whip it forward. And I think it can look good. So I'll try to do that from now on. That's why we test these things. It's going well. All right, let's get it after this car. Dang it, we got another car. There we go. That felt nice. A little tuck jump at the end. <laughs> All right, sweet. Nice one. We'll move on to the next one, whatever that may be. By the way, I'm just like choosing these randomly. Like I don't have a set script or places to go. I'm just exploring, seeing what we can find. So that's the best way to do it. Gets that creative juices flowing, you know what I'm saying? We're at the next spot. Man, I'm so grateful that I can do parkour. So much fun. And God's got big, big, big plans for Team Jolt and for all of us a part of it and for you guys as well. So stay tuned, keep watching. Hope this brings you some joy and points you back to God because here's the ultimate reason for doing any of this, ultimate reason for doing anything. Obviously, we're called to love. Obviously, love God first above everything and then love one another as Christ loved us, loves us. One of the ways God's given me to do that is through Team Jolt and through doing these sort of videos and having fun and just sharing this experience with you guys and just bringing you guys encouragement, inspiration and yeah, just that a little bit of a little bit of Jesus in your life because that's that's what we need. We need a lot of them, but if I can share a little bit, then that's the goal and that's why I love doing these videos and why I'm so blessed and so grateful to be able to do parkour and um, share God with you guys in this way and with this part of my life. So yeah, I'm excited. And now we're gonna do this jump. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Maybe a dive roll out. We'll see. Hopefully that looked cool. That felt cool. That last little bit to dive roll. Whew. Yeah, that was good. A little bit slow around this area, but it's 
good enough that I'm not compelled to do it again. So, <laughs> what the heck? What the, what the flip? Oh wait, let's go. Alrighty, I'm currently back at home just for a little bit after probably like four hours of filming, traveling around. I don't know why I do this, but I always film the start of the POV right at the end, like the wake up sequence or like the late for school part. I don't know why, but it's it just happens every time. I think I'm just too eager to get out there and start filming some good stuff. So I reckon this time I'm gonna wake up in my car and I'm gonna be like, <gasps> duh, duh, the car won't start, no. And then end up somewhere else and I'll be late. So yeah, let's, let's do that now. I don't know why I always film the start at the end. Like the lighting's gonna be so much different, but that's my bad. <laughs> you can see everything. Hehehe. <laughs> Hehe. <laughs> All right, let's go for it. I think that was good. Alrighty, just one more shot left and that's the ending thing where I'm late. All right, I had an idea. So I'm gonna come up, knock on this door. That one there. It's gonna cut to an up close shot with the macro lens and I'm gonna be like lying in bed like, oh, I don't go to school anymore. Oh, and then it's gonna cut and that'll be the end. So uh, let's get this last POV shot done. Alrighty, last POV shot complete. Let's go check the macro lens on and get the final shot of the whole film. This is going very well, very, very well. I will say this ultra wide lens for POVs with like multiple people, it'd be perfect because you could fit everyone in frame. It'd be real nice and just get a bunch of parkour chaos and action. And I reckon that would be really cool. So we'll have to try that out soon. Get all the boys to come out and join for a POV. All right, guys, we got the macro lens on right now and I decided that I'm gonna film this shot in my car because it's just easier and my clothes are really dirty so I don't really want to go into my bed so yeah I'm gonna wake up I'll be like oh what's going on oh, blah, blah. and that will be the end of the POV let's go <laughs> oh. I'm glad I'm out of school Hi. Am I an actor? Alrighty, thanks for watching today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, check a comment down below. And if there's anything else you'd like me to test out with the Hero 13, let us know as well. I hope this video has given you some insight on the new GoPro. If you guys want to buy it, it's a great camera to have, a great camera for POVs and for just action and parkour in general. Definitely worth the upgrade, in my opinion. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun using it today, and I can't wait to keep using it every time we film. And yeah, thanks for watching. Jesus loves you. Let's go.